You know, uh, when it comes to about wealth building, in 2008, 2009, during the last financial crisis, after 20 years of hard work, now you know a bit about where I came from. Yep. And after I reached certain level of success and bought myself a flat and everything else, helped my family in war zone, helped everybody, I faced redundancy from a job I loved and suddenly my paycheck was gone. My entire security was gone. And then for the second time, I faced homelessness. I went uh, to one of the biggest shopping streets in London called Oxford Street. And agencies were telling me I'm overqualified. There's no jobs for me. Newspapers were telling me the same. Media was telling me the same. Uh, agencies were telling me the same. My friends were telling me the same. Everybody around me who thought the crisis are uh, very bad, economy is going down, were telling me the same. So at 5 a.m. in the morning, I go to Oxford Street and I go back to my spot where I used to be homeless. And I went there and sat down and I sat down, I saw the sunrise and I started seeing when the shop opening. And I sat there sitting, watching people. Nobody knew enough my predicament, what my pain, nobody, absolutely nobody. We are, are alone when we are in those moments. And I'm seeing all these people spending money. And I'm asking myself the question, where is the crisis? Where is this economy that is falling? You know, people are buying bags which cost 10,000 pounds. And I'm saying to myself in here, how on earth did I build this psychology? There's a lack when there's plenty in there. So clearly you have people who think everything is disastrous. Then you have people who think everything is amazing. And then you ask yourself the question, who do I want to be? You know, how do I want to think? This is what I ask myself. Do I want to believe these people who tell me there's nothing? Or do I want to be one of these people and find a way to sell a product to all these people who are buying? And I want you to find a solution. And therefore, I brought many solutions to humanity. So for me, wealth is nothing more than you providing solution to as many people as possible. If you change people's lives and you bring value and you bring a real uh, solution to a big problem they have, they'll pay you any money uh, uh, they can. Wow. And you learn that in that moment, 5 a.m., being in the same place that you used to lay homeless. 20 years before. And wow. I'm observing and I said, okay, so I worked all of my life in that J-O-B, just over broke drop that keeps you into that <laughs> machine. Okay. <laughs> and here I am finding myself 20 years down the line. And I said, is this God or is this, is this me? Is this, is this, you know, the, the environment that people telling me there's no jobs? Yet I have evidence that people are spending money. So, you know, we tend to automatically, majority of people, especially clients I work, uh, in the first two hour session, I can see their psychology inside out. And I can see exactly why this person has a problem. And, uh, that psychology is what creates everything. You know, you can have the best Ferrari, best car. If the engine is, is of a fear, it's not going to be a Ferrari. Okay? So that engine, it's your brain. And if you nurture your brain and invest and get as many, uh, as many seminars, as many books, as many experiences, as, uh, if you can, as I said, hire as many people as you can, because I've done all of those until those people start hiring me. So, you know, it, it, in those moments in Oxford Street, I'm looking around and I said, okay, I need to change. I need to change my own psychology. And it's not government's job to pay me or somebody else's fault that I lost my job. Uh, because we are, we, uh, our psychology by default loves to blame other people for our own uh, uh, miseries wants to blame government, wants to blame the economy, wants to blame the coronavirus, wants to blame something. But I teach all of my clients a simple technique. This one, you know, one finger points at you, the economy, the virus, uh, no jobs, blah, blah, blah. One point said, okay, God created it that way, so that's why I need to put up with it. And then the, we forget those three fingers that pointed ourselves. And it's only those three fingers that create the change. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, 
feel free to share. Peace and love.